It's time to meet the organ gang again. <laughs> Welcome back. Lily Liver still isn't eating, and our organy chums don't know what to do about it. Well, said Barry, I remember seeing an episode of Mr. Ben once that wasn't dissimilar to this scenario. Uh, no, this is different to that. No, it isn't. Even the trumpet music was the same. Anyway, the way Mr. Ben made the spoilt princess eat was to invite all the urchins from the neighbourhood to come and join in the feast. I'm just off to the toilet. The only things resembling urchins in Organland were the kidney kids, Kim and Kenny Kidney. I don't want to eat with these stinking little brats. I am sophisticated. I like eating expensive fruit and can apes with interesting rich people, not crisps and jelly with small urine processing organs. <laughs> well, there's no need to be rude. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. It's Henry's uncle, Suspenser Spleen. The richest, most sophisticated organ in the world. I think I know what might help you get back your appetite, Lily. A night out with me at the Wrist Hotel. Oh, yes. Oh, Spencer, come on. Let's go. I'm starving. Well, it looks like thanks to me and my poshness, Lily Liver has spleen the error of her ways. <laughs> and everyone laughed till bedtime at this brilliant wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> Except Henry, who was a bit sad that, after all his efforts to impress Lily, he had been cuckolded by a spleen in a top hat. <laughs> so, did the Wrist Hotel live up to your expectations, Lily? But it was nice of Henry to go to all that trouble to make you all that food. So, I suppose what we've learned is that, given the choice, Girls will choose blokes with money every time. And are more likely to get them if they are dangerously thin. Goodbye, Lily. 